that story was crazy like first off oh we got a problem this is my home this is where i live at other pet sitters don't be going through this oh you're lying you're i'm finna i'm finna sue you just because you're lying just because you're lying and then what really got me y'all what really got me is when she stopped texting you back and was declining it oh no Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It is the one and only Kyla Diary, and you are back in the What's this story in my subscribers' lives? Not mine, my subscribers' lives. <laughs> yeah, it's a what's story with my subscribers' lives. This is a subscriber story time, as you can see by the title. Ooh, this is my first time. <laughs> it's my first subscriber story time, y'all. I am super excited about this. Um, as you can see, the story is right here. It's really long. Yes, girl. Oh, she got receipts. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be my first subscriber story time. Uh, If it's short, please come to Slack. I'm going to figure out how to do things later on down the road. I don't know if I should do multiple story times in one video. Multiple subscriber story times in one video. Or just keep it one subscriber story time in one video. That's my goal. Like, I want to do one subscriber story time in one video. So, I just want it to be long, like, so it could be, like, so I could react to it and shit, like. But, it's New Year's, y'all. Make some money. Happy New Year to y'all. New Year, better things. Better opportunities and better things to get better at. Hello. <laughs> if y'all haven't already, before we even get into the video or start anything, go follow my new Instagram account. It is I am underscore Dari to Kyla. That is my new, 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 new. If you ain't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I heard once you subscribe, you get thicker and you become a real bitch. And for the men, once you subscribe, you get handsome and you become a real nigga. So go ahead and do those things before we even get into the next clip. And if you don't want to hear the bullshit that happens in me or my subscribers' lives, you can go ahead and click off. And I'll wait. <laughs> and now that they're going for my room and stay, y'all already know the deal. Uh -uh. And if you want to send your story time in, because this is a subscriber story time, you can send your story time in at Takila Diary Stories at gmail.com. If you are interested in sending your story, come on, y'all. It's New Year. New boy. New Year. New boy. Come on. Send me y'all stories. I'm waiting over here. I'm waiting. Okay. But, y'all, let's get straight into this story. So, we're going to start it off. I'm excited. Y'all excited? Okay. Don't talk about my narrator voice because this is literally how I read stories. <laughs> this is literally how I read stories. I be having, I be literally in tune with this. So, okay. So, y'all, she titled this the Pet Sitter Horror Story. <laughs> Something to do with a pet and a horror story. Okay. She said, hey, Adari. Hey, girl. <laughs> she said, hey, Adari. I just want to say I can't wait till you grow more in the YouTube industry. Me too. You're absolutely adorable and quite obviously funny. Aww. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, she said, anyway, getting into the story, I am a 20-year-old female. She's a girl in this story, y'all. Hey, girl. And I am a pet sitter for work primarily. Okay, okay. I use this app called Rover and have set plenty of animals in the last three years. Okay. Since starting it, I have only encountered two other issues with the owners in this business. Making this the third. <laughs> okay, so boom. I love when y'all do that. Go ahead. <laughs> when y'all tell y'all stories, please tell the boom and bro. And like do, do effects. Because it get me hyped. Okay, so boom. I got a request to sit a dog in the middle of the month before the month she needed me. As you do when you're planning something ahead. Whenever I get a request, I send out a questionnaire to see if it'll be a good fit. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. I might post a screenshot in the, you know, in the video. So it looks like this. Hello, thank you for inquiring. I would love and be honored to sit during that time. You know, blank during the time she's supposed to bring that thing on dog. Are your dogs okay with other dogs or cat? Or are your animals okay with other dogs or cat? Do they bark or bite? <laughs> mm -hmm. What are their interests? Any allergies, any medication or special requests? Will you be bringing essentials such as food, bowls, toys, leash, crate, etc. Allowed on furniture, any potty issues? 
So them are the questionnaires that she asked her guests who's bringing animals. Like y'all gotta answer this questionnaire before you even bring no dog, cat, animal, pig, anything. Because y'all, we have to know what they like and what they dislike, you know? Okay, so y'all see that? She said, she answered those questions. She didn't mention anything extra that could sound alarming. And it seemed it all checked out. So we went ahead and booked. I text them the night before drop off to make sure they were still coming. They said yes. They said yes. The next day, they get here at the time they said they were coming, and the dog looks so much bigger than their profile picture. Shit, why the fuck? Why is the dog bigger than what it looked like on the profile picture? But nonetheless, I'm not really worried about it. Me either, girl. Me either. I'm not worried about it either. You know, we not worried about it. We, me and my partner, she's saying we, as in her and her partner, helped the owner carry some of the stuff that he had brought up to her apartment. As we were walking to my apartment elevator, I noticed the dog was drooling. I asked the owner if he drools often. She says, no, only when we're walking or in a new environment. You didn't mention that at all, but whatever. Then she proceeds to wipe the whole big slobber with her bare hands. Ew, what the f Ew, y'all nasty. Why do you need a towel or something? Then a dog big, you need a rag. Fuck around, need a rag for that damn drool, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's be rewind. She wipes the whole big slobber with her bare hands. I ignored it, but I was definitely disgusted by it. Me too, like, ew. We finally get up to my unit. Mm -hmm. He's setting up his crate. The dog was roaming around, sniffing at the other animals in the room. When I looked over, I see the dog peeing right in front of us. She goes, oh my God, no. I'm so sorry. He never does that. He's potty trained. I swear. You're lying. <laughs> okay. And we were being nice. Like, don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. She begins to explain after the crate was done. She begins to explain after the crate was done being set up that we weren't able to nudge, move, or direct him using his collar. Or he would snap. And to instead put the leash on him and direct him that way, we were iffy about it. But we needed the money. So we ignored it. Get that money on. And it seemed doable, right? Yes, it definitely seemed doable. Comments, let me know. If it seemed doable, about this moment, it seemed doable. If you say you do this all the time and that's what works, cool. Okay, no problem. They also mentioned they don't usually allow the dog to be on furniture. But it was fine if I allow it. Mm -hmm. Okay, she leaves and off back. I was immediately disgusted by the amount of drool that was on my bed. Ew. He was on the side of it, waiting to be let up, to the point where I had to just put him in the crate for a little. We let them out and tried to get him to lay down on the floor, using the lay down command. But he wouldn't. He would not. Mm. We tried using the sit command, but nothing. It was almost as if the dog didn't understand me and my partner, or we was just getting ignored. We allowed him to get on the bed to see what he would do. And sure enough, he understood that one. Hmm. We thought it was kind of weird, but okay. The next day we wake up, fed him, and then get ready to take them out. The dog peed again as we were grabbing their leash. Why are you peeing? We're just trying to grab the leash. My bad. She didn't add that. I'm just adding the sad effects, but yeah. Okay, whatever. We had a few dogs pee in my apartment before. We have the cleaning products. We've also used and worked with. I sometimes hire professionals. No problem. We could just clean it. No. The pee is bright yellow. And literally stained my carpet. Ew. 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 It will not come out like it usually does, which is pointless. Which is spotless. That's disgusting oh my god i text the owner oh shit fuck i text the owner that the dog did that and asked if they had any experience with cleaning the pee 
and what products that they use. That's smart because if this happened before and this they dog, of course we're finna ask what products do you use to clean up your dog piss because he not finna be leaving no pit stains in my house on my carpet. This is your dog that you brought over here. It's not coming up. What do we need to do to get this resolved? Please let me know. Email me at dog, 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 dog. My bad. Let me get back to the store. Mm, mm, mm. I text the owner that the dog did that. Asked them if they had any experience with cleaning that pee and what products did they use. They replied and said the dog usually doesn't have accidents. You're lying. And doesn't have carpeting at their home. Okay, that's understandable. I read it and I didn't reply because I and my partner were trying to figure out what we wanted to do. Moments later, we were trying to put the leash on the dog and he growled at us. <laughs> It growled at us. We had to wait a little and do it fast. So, so we, so sorry, 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 y'all. My bad, my bad. We had to wait a little and do it fast so that we could direct him with it because he wasn't listening to any of the commands. That's crazy. I finally text the owner back, letting them know that we wanted to give the dog time to see if they would relax and that they were thinking of finding another sitter for them. Because this, your time has came up. And I told them all of the reasons why with an attached video of the dog growling at us. I assume she sent the attached video. If she didn't, that's fine too. Um, but no, I explained that the dog may have a better personality, which if you don't know what a better is, I hope I'm saying that right. Better or beta means. Better or beta means, it means, and I quote, Beta dogs, beta dogs are the second in command, deferring only to their alpha owner. They only listen to their owner. Okay. If your dog listens to you but tends to ignore commands from the rest of the family, then they're likely consider themselves the better of the pack. It gotta sound like better. It sounds like better or better. Okay. Better of the pack. Like, they're better. They're not listening to you, whoever got the command. They're not listening to nobody. They're listening to their owner. Because their only they their owner is the only ones who owns them. You don't own this dog, so the dog is not going to listen to you, basically. That's what I'm getting from this definition, okay? And she replied and said that the two previous sitters, they had never had any issues. She capped it. But that maybe he was overwhelmed by the other animals in my home. Okay. And that he has lived in apartments before and doesn't understand why he's acting different than usual. I told them the process of finding another sitter and how it works. And they just said to keep them updated on what the plan would be. And then continue to say that he currently lives in an apartment. I don't know why he's acting like this. The drooling is concerning because it's not like him to drool so much. And I make sure to include in his description or tell all the sitters straight up. Cap. Which is a lie. Where did it say all that? And how does he live in an apartment if there are breed restrictions anyway, miss ma'am? Oh, period, let me know. Anyway, I offered to FaceTime to observe his behavior and he's doing exactly everything I told her. She could not give a great explanation of what to do and said to just keep feeding him treats to do the commands. No, motherfucker. And then, and I said, I didn't want to keep doing that because it might be unhealthy and cause many bathroom breaks. So then we just ended the call by saying we would try one more night. Literally, let's try one more night. Y'all plan. Uh, wait, I don't want to try one more night. I'm sorry. I'm not agreeing with that. <laughs> I tried the treat method. I tried the treat method. Okay. And it only works for the paw command. I put the treat back in the bag and noticed that they were rags in the bag for the dog. She said, I tried the treat method. And it only works for the paw command. The paw. The paw command. I put the treat back in the bag and noticed that there were rags in the bag for the dog. Why do you have rags for it if it's not like him to drool? Okay, whatever. Do you know right after we're all sitting down, the dogs get on my bed below me as I've had my bed out in the living room to better watch them. I'm assuming she put her bed in the living room to watch them. Okay. And my couch is in the front of my bed and my dog is next to me. But my dog kind of scoots down to the bed to sniff their dog. The dog snapped and tried to attack my dog. Oh, hell no. 
followed by peeing on our bed slash pillow. So this dog peeing on our bed slash pillow and it tried to tell my dog, oh, you got to go. At this point, we were done. It's really giving better territorial. <laughs> I mentioned that to her again, but she keep ignoring that comment and keep trying to figure out excuses for what the reason could be, which is being overwhelmed, like literally. I began to try to help look for other sitters, but the process was so hard. The sitters' prices are either way higher than mine, further away, or needed days in advance. I'm just going to say... Her having a sitter has nothing, her finding a new sitter has nothing to do with you. If it's time for that dog to go, that dog needs to leave today, right now. I don't know how it go. But that's just, if, I just feel like it should be like that. If I'm done sitting your baby dog or have a big that I was, it's time for you to find a new sitter ASAP because I'm not dealing with this no more. I'm not dealing with this no more. <laughs> But I don't know the process of getting a new sitter. But let's get back to the story. Sitter prices are either way higher than mine, further away, or needed days in advance to book. Okay. I requested four, and only one said they could do it. So I told the sitter about it, and they asked to see their profile, which I did send. Okay. The owner said they saw their profile and were a little far away. But they wanted to have a sitter closer in distance to where they could pick up the dog easier when their time came. I explained to that I explained that they seemed to have a vehicle to coordinate drop off. And she replied that she wanted someone with more experience than this one, but didn't really want to be picky. Which she was because the rest of the sitters are booked up for the holidays or the other difficulties I mentioned. But okay. <clears throat> she texted me again saying that their coworker would have watched the dog. But if I could just drop the dog off we didn't really want to okay so basically she wanted to drop the dog off we didn't want to okay we didn't really want to but we always try to be nice to people so we said yes and dropped the dog off the next morning i didn't got their stay date updated to the days that i actually sit them for with the app agent through chat and was able to see what i could get paid and said with rover you have to wait two days to get your payment excluding weekends she cancels the updated request because the clients must apparently reaccept it. And the pay price have vanished. So I said, oh, oh, hell no. I contacted them again so fast. They were talking about some, oh, call trust and safety. And they will handle this. So I do. And they sent another request for the updated desk. Wait. And they sent another request for the updated dates. And she canceled it again. Oh, I'm furious. I call and text the agents again. I'm talking to my boyfriend about it and I explain everything. The agent said I will be getting paid and that they needed to figure it out and will get back to me. But if I don't hear anything, I should be able to contact them again. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I text the owner. Hi, I am trying to keep it professional here and work this out. I deserve to be compensated for my time. Period energy gas and cleaning supplies to which have came from her dog i'm assuming i will be consistently talking with rover support until then and if pay is not processed i will be filing a lawsuit for not paying a service period thank you what's that thank you thank you because why are you playing with me right now so she ignored the last request didn't accept or decline it this time and ignore my message. So boom, I call the agents the next day after all the bullshit. Because what? How are you just able to do this? Shit? <laughs> they tell me again that they're still working on it, and will make sure I get paid. But they don't know yet when she would get paid, and to wait a little longer. It is still happening now. I will text you an update. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong or is she? Because personally, me personally, I feel she is. With not understanding how the dog is and not wanting to do research when I bring up all of these things that match up, it's a big dog. And it seems she used him for protection for the home or whatever. As the owner is a woman and it's just her and then started being petty, declining all the updates for Christ and trying not to allow me to get paid for the days that I did sit the dog 
for when I was completely nice and professional the whole conversation from start to finish. The pay was updated less than its original price and will have gotten the rest back. I apologize if this might be long. It's not long, girl, but I did see you email me again for an update. She was like, hey, boo, I have an update. Ah! Shortly after contacting Rover consistently for three days, they finally decided to give me slightly more money. <laughs> I would have gotten it if she had accepted the modifications, but I think they should have given me like 30 more dollars nonetheless. LOL. Jokes on her, because what? You thought I was going to leave this alone? I swear I wanted to go on some crazy shit and find her because this way, the way this situation just stressed me, had, had me stressed my bad. <laughs> the way this situation just stressed me bad was on some other stuff. I don't never want to go through that again, but it was uneventful when you have your own business, especially if you have multiple. She, st she also still has not said anything to my message, but just know I'm plotting on talking crazy after all that. I'm trying to be professional. It's off limits now because, you know, you just tried to play with my money. Thank you for listening, telling our stories. Start the new year off and stay blessed. You love. Ah! Oh, thank you so much, bro. That story was crazy. Like, I was just everywhere with that because, first off, your dog is drooling, 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 drooling. That shit right there. That would have disgusted me off back because it's like, bro. Why you ain't put this on the motherfucking description? Like you got a your dog got a drooling problem. Um, his pee stains, he or she, I don't know if it was a he or she. Pee stains don't get up. I'm getting all these cleaning supplies to get your dog pee stains up, and it's not getting up. Oh, we got a problem. This is my home. This is where I live at. You know, this is where I be at. That's two. And then three, she lying. The um. The lady who owns the dog is lying. Why are you lying saying your dog don't have these many problems? Um, This is the first time you encountered this. Other other pet sitters don't be going through this. Oh, you're lying. You're, I'm finna, I'm finna sue you just, before, just because you're lying. Just because you're lying. And then what really got me, y'all, what really got me, I don't know if you put your name. I don't know if you wanted your name on there, but if you didn't, just comment, okay? I'll, I'll pin your comment. But what really got me is when she stopped texting you back and was declining it. Oh, hell no. Oh, you think I'm not going to get paid for them two to three days of watching your Don listening dog? Don't want to listen to me. He only want to listen to you because you're the owner and give command. No, that's not what we're going to do. That's not how things is about to go. You, Your dog is going to listen to me. Your dog don't listen. Sit. Oh, you don't want to sit, huh? Oh, I got something for you. Let me call your owner. Tell your owner to come get this by the way now. But I be noticing like dogs and animals and cats, you know, it's not like a real, it's not like a baby, but it acts like a baby. If you know what I mean, like I can't really put my input in it because I don't got a dog or a cat, but a experience. Then mother, I swear, I said when I get a dog, I'm putting my dog on a diaper. <laughs> but if he had a drooling problem, I'm definitely going to let that be known. For the pet sitter, because, like, that's something that's concerning. Like, that's something you got to go get checked out, I think. I don't know, but y'all, let her know in the comments how y'all feel about the story. Was she wrong for um finding this dog a new pet sitter? Or what would you have did if this was your dog? Because me, personally, that dog would have been going the same thing. <laughs> but, you know, you want the money, so it's like, I'm going to just stick it through. You feel me? And it's your business, so you really trying to stick it through. I, I I respect you for being professional and everything because a lot of people would have just been like, um, can you come get your dog? Or this is this is unacceptable. Like, I don't want to deal with this. You know, like, off bat rule. But you kept it professional. You kept it to the highest standard possible because you did a good job because you was just accepting that this dog wasn't normal than usual. And you were still trying to... um compromise with the dog and i salute i salute to you with that because a lot of people wouldn't a lot of people would have just gave up on day one yeah but um let her know in the comments i don't i personally don't think you was wrong for even um you know how you handled the situation and i still don't think you should treat her after the whole situation because it's like you got your money like i feel like since you got your money it's like done deal it ain't really much to say like i feel like you should just accept this as a learning lesson and just um know how you would go about it next time because 
this will not be happening again, queen. This will not be happening again at all. At all. Because, yeah, we, yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah. But thank you for sending me your story. If y'all want to send me y'all stories, please send me y'all stories at Stories at gmail.com. Um, if y'all liked it this story time, let her know in the comments that y'all loved her story. I loved her story. Thank you, girl. And y'all, and she got receipts. Receipts is not mandatory, but receipts is acceptable. And I love y'all put receipts. But there we go. It be, it be, it be, it be, you know, it be good. But thank you so much for sending, for taking your time out to even type that story time and send it to me. God bless you. And y'all, come on, it's New Year. Send me y'all story. New Year, new boy. Say hello. Bye, y'all. Tune in to the next story time or subscriber story time or vlog.